the 68 RFE is trash. And this video is gonna be about why. So stay tuned. Welcome to the channel because as I already know by all my analytics that YouTube gives me that 83% of my followers of uh, my viewers are not subscribers. So if you're watching this video before we all get into the why the 68 RFE fucking sucks, please go down in the subscription or I think they have this new link where you just got to click the screen and subscribe to the channel. So if not, I'm going to leave a link somewhere in one of the corners of the screen so that you can subscribe to the channel. But hey, this video will be mostly about discussing my issues that I've been having with my 68 RFE, the transmission in my 2009 Dodge Ram 2500. So as some of y'all do know, my truck does not have very high miles and my truck has not done a whole lot of towing. So I know, you know, depending on how spicy of a tune your truck may have in it, it's shift points and pressures and there's a, there's a long list of things that can uh, uh, affect your transmission. But we're gonna get into all that in this video right here. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right, everybody. It's been a few days and I'm sorry about that. I told y'all, I promised y'all I was doing the final editing like three days ago. But a lot of stuff has went on in my personal life that we just ain't gonna get into. But hey, back into why I don't like the 68 RFE. Uh, as y'all probably have seen on my Instagram at this point, uh, my valve body exploded. Uh, I'm not too sure of the technical terms of what you call these particular parts that come out, but uh, whenever you get the P0734 uh, error, this is actually one of the causes of that particular error. So like uh, these cylinders that are in the valve body that they supposedly, in my explanation of what I was kind of told, granted, don't quote me, I'm not a transmission guy, but the cylinders, they lessen the shift. They, they handle the shift pressure of the transmission. So basically, they relieve the pressure. They shut off the pressure. But they de they technically hold the load of the of the transmission shifts and the, and the pressure in the transmission. Uh, so basically, long story short, my truck had a little bit too many cowboy moments, uh, and I guess the pressure got to this pressure plate. that holds these cylinders in. Um, I've actually read in several forums that this is actually a common uh, issue with the 68 RFE. Uh, I've been told that the actual transmission itself is very weak and very known for exploding. Uh, but um, as you can see, I'm gonna actually post some of these pictures up of it. Um, the guy that worked on it, shout out to him, uh, settle shop here in Louisville, Kentucky. They really helped me out when I was really in need of, of somebody helping me out with it. Um, normally, y'all all know I do most of the work to my truck myself, but I have instances where I just know something is way over my head, and uh, when it comes to transmission, it's pretty much well way over my head. Um, so, uh, I shout out to them. They actually dropped the transmission pan. Uh, pulled my valve body out and they rebuilt my actual valve body itself. So now I actually have a thicker plate Some upgrade springs and the seals were redone on my truck On the valve body so um, I think my truck is able to handle a little bit more PSI through it now, which is a good thing. So uh, hey uh, A lot of the reasons uh, so that that this is the main reason of why I, I hate the 68 RFE. It's because of its reputation. Its reputation doesn't really make you feel comfortable with buying one of these trucks, especially when you plan on making money with these trucks. Uh, you don't want your transmission to go out and all of a sudden take six grand out of your pocket. 
just because you deleted the truck so that the truck would last you longer. I mean, my truck is deleted in tune. It does push a little bit more PSI through the transmission. It does have a trans tune on it, but it's nothing that's too crazy. Um, it's not no sports truck. I don't ride it. I drive it a lot, you know, daily driving it really. Um, it doesn't really get worked that hard. So for me to have these, this many issues with my transmission kind of worries me. I mean, my truck is towed a handful of times. It's had some pretty heavy loads in the back of it. Right? Oh, excuse me. Since, since my ownership, it has definitely had some heavier loads in the back of it. But uh, nothing that I would say is worthy of a transmission blowing out at all. So... Um, that's my main thing, man, of why I believe the 68 RFE is trash is because it's not very reliable. Uh, in the last five months, I've had trouble with it twice. Uh, once was because my transmission shift solenoid went out which is on top of the valve body, which if y'all want, y'all can go back and look at the video where I pulled that out and did replace that myself. And secondly, this is the, this is the second time. So I've had issues out of it twice in the last five months. So, pray to God, keep my hands crossed that this time around, it, nothing else goes wrong because everything has pretty much been touched other than the internals of it. So, uh, I appreciate everybody and all the support. Uh, hopefully, I can get a little bit more knowledge on what this issue was and maybe sit down with the shop and let them discuss it. But they don't really like being on video. That's why, as you can see, I have pictures. And I have one video clip where I videotaped it myself. But, uh, hey, I appreciate everybody who supports me. And as always, uh, hug someone if you can because you never know what dilemma they may be facing. And uh, prayers for my family. Um, I'm deaf, y'all. My family is definitely in my prayers. I don't want to get into no details more than that. But um, I'm coming home, and I'll see y'all soon. Peace out from the boys of Mojay. Much love.